Hello, uh, Dr. Simka here with uh, <clears throat> another video about how to work at a workstation to, and how to avoid sitting. Now, we know that sitting turns off parts of your brain that actually run all the autonomic stuff that goes on in your, in your body, like heart rate, digestion, whatever, and it runs it at the level where you repair and you do the, the, your body does all the things to maintain itself. Now when you sit, you actually influence another part of the uh, brain that is all about making sure you can get away from things. Um, it's actually um, about uh, increasing your heart rate, increasing your blood pressure, forgets about digestion, all that kind of stuff. So um, what we want to do is we know that being stationary and sitting shuts those good things down and increases those bad things. And we also know that regardless of how much activity you do in between your sittings, it doesn't seem to have a great impact on improving things. So what does that mean is that we have to do things while we're working, while we're working at a station, in order to try and improve the functioning of these parts of the brain that get shut off. So one of the things I've, I've done myself is actually to, um, to have a standing desk. Now, having a standing desk on its own is really good, but there has to be some um, important um, positions you need. So you could still be lousy at a standing desk if you're like this. So if I'm like this and looking up at the computer with my head like that, with the computer screen, that's going to be harmful. So what you need to do is make sure your chest is up and your shoulders back, just like the power pose I told you about. And you need to look at it that way. Now... When you're concentrating on things, it gets hard to keep it because your, your body starts to slouch. So what does that mean is that you have to check in um, every so often. And I recommend when you start doing this type of stuff, you, you do it every five to 10 minutes. I'm at actually about 20 minutes now. So you can teach your body to function normally. Now, what does that mean? doesn't mean you take a 10 minute break every 5 to 10 minutes. It means you change position every 5 to 10 minutes. By changing position, you're moving, gives your brain a clue that you're not laying down and you're not, you know, you're not stationary, and the brain gets activated. So that means that if I am like this, I want to maintain proper posture while I'm working, and then after about 5 minutes, I say, okay, let me break for a second and walk away, or just turn away, in position, maybe do a little deep knee bend just to get your legs moving, and a little bend forward, and a little twist, and maybe a little walk in place. Now, why do I add those things in? Because we remember that the PMRF excites the core of your body, and the core is all the muscles that actually support your spine and help um, prevent injury, okay? It also helps prevent disc injury. In other words, just popping out and all this, all this kind of stuff in your spine. So by doing this motion, okay, and walking in place, bending forward and twisting, all excite the PMRF and actually stimulate the core. So every five minutes, I would try this for a week and then you can expand it from there. But I would say if you're working at the desk like this, keeping your eyes on the computer, you're gonna slouch naturally. So put a timer on, I know it's gotta be kind of crazy, it's kind of hard, but we have to change the way we work and we have to make an effort to do that. Is every five minutes stop, and you can stay right here. You can keep looking, stop for a second, and then do a little twisting, bend forward, march in place, and then get yourself back in line again. Now that didn't take long. So here we are, five minutes, here I am, five minutes, timer goes off, I'm going to do a couple of deep, deep knee bends, right, I'm going to walk in place for a couple, I'm going to twist, I'm going to bend forward, and then we go back to work. We have to change the way we're doing things, because sitting has caused a great deal of damage to our bodies and our brains, and costs a lot of money and a lot of time of pain and suffering that we need to stop. So what does that mean? We have to hack the system. We have to do things to get our brain to work better. And that's just one way of doing it. We know that bending forward, 
Twisting, walking in place, and deep knee bends excites your core, which excites your brain. This, staying stationary, doesn't excite your core, doesn't excite your brain, shuts it off and gives the part of the brain that does the, the uh, increasing your heart rate, increasing your blood pressure, gives that a chance to overwhelm the part that keeps things calm, digestion, and all that kind of stuff. So I want you to try that for a week. Uh, I have more stuff coming down the, down the pike. So um, this is Dr. Greg, changing the way we look at health.